There are several marine safety information resources for boaters on operations and resources for their local area. From nautical publications to regular published notifications that share changes and updates to those publications, this information will help you operate safely in areas you may be familiar with and in new areas that you have never been to. We will discuss three of these resources, as well as the updates that can be helpful to the recreational boater, where to find them, and how to use them to help remain knowledgeable of your area. First, our nautical charts. It should be a part of your pre-launch checklist to review charts for the areas that you will visit. If you happen to have an electronic navigation system on your boat, you should review that as well. This is similar to looking at a route online before a family road trip. Consider things you may plan, like which roads to take, gas stations, and food locations on the way, and any areas of interest that you may visit. You can do similar preparations for your boat trip. Nautical charts will show channels, water depths, aids to navigation, and hazards below the water surface like rock, reefs, and sandbars. Nautical charts of your area can be viewed online at nauticalcharts.noaa.gov or purchased at some marine supply stores. Your next resource are Coast Pilots. These are annual publications that can be used to supplement the information on a nautical chart. They provide boaters information about operational considerations, navigational regulations, coastal navigations, annual weather, communications, resources, and local contact information. After you identify where you plan to visit on a nautical chart, you should review the Coast Pilot for that area. Again, comparing this to your family road trip, you may search the internet for information on how much traffic you may encounter, what the best restaurants are, and details about the areas of interest. The same approach can be used with a Coast Pilot. It will better describe what you will see and how you should operate on the water. Other important information it will provide are swing and drawbridge operation times, how to contact them, and any limited access areas or LAAs, like military bases, and what the restrictions are around the LAA. Coast Pilots can be found online at nauticalcharts.noaa.gov or purchased at some marine supply stores. Finally, we will discuss the Notice to Mariners. This is a publication of local notifications, information, and changes that are released weekly. They are more current than the Coast Pilot. In it, you'll find specific information regarding hazards, aids to navigation, changes for your nautical charts, and current and future plans for your area waterways. You should compare this information to what you see on nautical charts before you go on the water. For example, let's say a large storm recently hit your area. This storm created large waves at the channel entrance which moved the bottom sand around so much that the channel is no longer where it used to be on the chart. This notice to mariners will discuss where the channel has shifted and if the aids to navigation are still marking the safe water correctly following the storm. It may also explain that the Coast Guard has moved the aids to mark the new channel and give the new position the aids are in. There will also be information on structures or boats that were damaged and are a hazard to navigation. The notice to mariners for your area can be located at navsend.uscg.gov. Now that we've discussed the different publications of marine safety information and the information you can find in them, let's describe how you can use them to plan a trip. Let's say you are planning a boat trip through San Diego Bay and out to this Pacific Ocean. First, you go online to review the nautical chart for the San Diego Bay and the entrance. You identify where your boat ramp is and what channels will lead you to the bay and out to the ocean. Notice the aids to navigation marking the channels that you will use and any popular destinations you will see. Following this chart review, visit the Coast Pilot for your area and read about the boat ramp you are using. You will find contact information, times the ramp is open or closed, and possibly any dangers you will be concerned with when using that particular ramp. Next. Read on about the seasonal weather for the area, the type of boating traffic you may encounter, and more information about the popular destinations you plan to visit along the way. Let's say the popular destination is the naval aircraft carrier tied up at the naval base. It will be the Coast Pilot publication that will share specifics about that limited access area around the carrier and the base. It will explain the distance you must stay from the base, the maximum speed you must transit, and possibly the restriction of photographs and video. Finally, review the notice to mariners. You check to see if there were any recent changes to the aids to navigation, hazards to navigation that you may encounter, or security zones on water permitted events like races and parades. Following the review of these publications and the completion of your pre-launch checklist, you are ready for your day on the water. We have discussed nautical charts, coast pilots, and notice to mariners, and how to use them to plan your trip. These are a few of the important marine safety information publications available. Use them regularly and learn more about marine safety information to help you prepare a safe and enjoyable boating experience.